Hello there and welcome to the third episode of Crypto in 5. My name is Riley and today we're going to be taking a look at the cryptocurrency known as VeChain. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so to start off, what is it? Well, VeChain is a blockchain platform designed to increase efficiency in supply chain management. VeChain provides retailers and consumers with the ability to determine the quality and authenticity of products that they, are bought. they have bought. Sorry. For example, products, source materials, organic food quality, servicing history, and machine part authenticity, to name a few examples. This is all, to be, this is all able to be executed through the VeChain smart chip. And this chip is an NFC chip, RFID tracker, or QR code that tracks the product it is attached to, and it protects against tampering, counterfeiting, and ensures that the entire life cycle is stored securely on the v, um, VeChain blockchain, I should say. When the network is fully operational, one will be able to scan a product in a store with a chip and see its entire history, its manufacturer, what it was made with, how it was transported, and the duration it took to deliver the product. Okay, so the team. And VeChain has a very experienced team with many previous management roles in big companies, including eBay, Louis Vuitton China, HP, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and Deloitte. They also have many partnerships with other big companies, and just to name two of those partnerships, the first one is PricewaterhouseCoopers, which is a $37.7 billion company, and Renault, the car company, which is actually $25.5 billion, so some really big companies that they're dealing with. So the future of VeChain, and in fact, VeChain is actually scheduled to rebrand as VeChain Thor on 26th of February 2018. VeChain Thor will move the company beyond the supply chain, uh, I guess, stream that they're currently in, and it will move them also into enterprise DApp solutions similar to Ethereum. The new platform they are offering will use two different tokens. One will be VeChain tokens, um, and the other will be Thor Power. And Thor is comparable, comp uh, comparable sorry, to gas on the Ethereum network. And a bit of the roadmap and what they've got coming up. In quarter two of this year, VeChain 3.0 will go live. They will release the VeChain wallet and the token launch. And also they will launch the gas exchange. So the Thor Power Exchange. Also in quarter four of this year, they will release VeChain 4.0, which is a full integrated release. And they will enable Internet of Things integration. So they got some really big things on the cards for 2018. And this is one of the reasons why I think you really need to watch out for VeChain this year. And just my quick thoughts on VeChain. So they're targeting a worldwide audience um, and countless industries, which means they have a big use case and a lot of potential for the future. The process they, they use ensures efficiency, security, and authenticity of the processes. They have a very experienced team and already have made significant progress. Over 100 nodes are actually currently active worldwide. And they do have some good competition running against them, like similar projects like Walton Chain, but I don't really see a reason why they can't both uh, rise up and work together, or not necessarily together, but work in the industry, just like any other technology would. So that was VeChain in under five. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below on another cryptocurrency you would like to see me review in under 5 minutes. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and as always, I'll catch you later.